Hello everyone and welcome back to Technovo. My name's Steph and today I'm going to be running through how to create a very, very basic streaming overlay inside of OBS. And you're going to need a copy of Photoshop or some kind of image creation tool, whether that's Photoshop or Adobe Elements or some other free variant. Just Google something, you'll be able to find something very, very similar to Photoshop, I'm sure, for free online now. There are loads of different tools out there. The reason I wanted to make this video is because there have been a few people in the comment section of our other OBS tutorials on how to create streaming overlays or how we create our streaming overlays. And they are very, very basic. So uh, bear with me on the design here, but, um, but hopefully it will give you an idea on how you can start creating your own streaming overlays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump onto my desktop screen. There you go. We are now inside of OBS. And as you can see, I have got a ton of scenes down here and I've created a blank canvas called scene two. So the first thing what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull in uh, the webcam scene or the video capture device scene, which is my Elgato Sony. So go down to here, click on add video capture device, and I'm going to be adding an existing because I've already got my, my Elgato Sony set up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that down into the corner and that's going to be the base of our webcam overlay. So from here, I'm going to need to take a screenshot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Windows snipping tool. I'm going to click new on there and take a snipping sample. You probably won't be able to see this, but uh, but yeah, I've captured that and I'm going to call this webcam. <coughs> I'm going to call this webcam base. Save that there. So once I've got the webcam base, I'm going to be going into Photoshop where I'm going to be creating a new document. Ah, before I do that, let me jump into my settings on OBS. Go down to video. You can see my base canvas resolution, which is the important one, is 1920 by 1080. You can do it at 1280, 1280 by 720. Or if you've got a higher resolution monitor, then you can go up to 1440p or 4K or something like that. But for Twitch, you don't really need it. 1080 is 1920 by 1080 or 1080p is more than enough. So jumping into Photoshop, I'm going to create a new canvas. 1920 by 1080. And as you can see in the background, my um, hotkeys are going absolutely mental. So let's create a new base canvas. Let me just change this back to base canvas one. And uh, there we go. From here, I'm just going to drag in my webcam base into the image itself and I'm just going to scale it up because I took the screenshot and it was a little bit smaller than I needed um, but yeah I'm just going to scale it up it doesn't matter at this point so once that's scaled up you can see the webcams in the corner everything's ready to go what I like to do is zoom in my Photoshop layer go down here I'm going to have to rasterize this layer because I've taken my um, square marquee tool I'm going to make a canvas make a canvas make a selection around my webcam like so and yeah that's pretty accurate you want to at this stage try to be as accurate as possible you don't have to be perfect down to the last pixel but you're going to want to be as accurate as possible now what i'm going to do is i'm going to layer that as a cut because i'm going to need that in a moment and at this stage i can delete that layer and then i am left with my webcam as a separate layer where i can position it where i want but for the sake of this tutorial it's going bottom left and that's really a kind of a common place for a stream camera to go so from here if i jump into my uh, my folder my design folder uh, i'm going to go to bring in my social banner background like so and this is where you you can have a different of design it's up to you I'm just going to use the um, image that we usually use on the streams ourselves. So once I've done that, I've got the webcam and I've got my uh, background. So my white layer can go. I don't need that anymore. Uh, right. So from here, I'm going to want to select my square rectangle or my square rectangle tool, my rectangle tool. Uh, turn off the fill, but turn on the stroke. And I'm going to want a color for my stroke which I am going to use a color that I have used in the past, which is that one. And then all I'm going to do is draw a selection around my 
camera, like so. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to increase that to 6.99, 6.99 pixels. Make that a little bit neater. Now, I can hold down my shift key, and that gives me free movement on uh, on Photoshop to move my, my the tool around. So I want it somewhere like that. So that is looking nice as a frame. Now, what I need to do is I need to make a selection of my webcam because I'm going to need to extract it from the social banner background layer or whatever background that you decide to choose. So rasterize that layer first, hold down control, click the webcam layer, reselect the background and just tap delete. And from there, if you then hide the webcam layer, control D to um, lose the selection, you have now got an empty hole here, a transparent section for the webcam, and that's important when you start moving uh, all of the parts around inside of uh, OBS. Right, so now I'm going to need an area for a game. Now, this is where you can, you can do either or. Now, you can leave, if you want to turn it off, you can leave that as a border, and you're done. You just save this out as a transparent PNG. But uh, I want I want a second camera. I want I want a second box for a game because I like to put information around the edge. So let me grab the um, uh, square square tool again, square shape tool. Now this time, what I'm going to do is just for example, I'm going to turn on the fill, and that's all I'm going to do. So once that's turned on and all ready to go, just click on there. Now I know that I play my games on Twitch at 1920 by 1080 and that's where the base canvas comes uh, comes in that your base canvas is at 1920 by 1080. So once I've created that square I'm going to move it into position like so and you can see at the moment 1920 by 1080 is a full square and that's the full resolution of the canvas but we don't want that. We want to make it a little bit smaller because we want to store some information around the edge okay. So once you've done that and you've got your camera or you've got your, your square where you want where your gameplay is going to go, you can now take a selection from that area. As you can see, I held down control, I clicked the little thumbnail here, gone down to the new social banner, and then just click delete. And then if you hide that layer, you've then got a nice square, or a nice, should I say, 16 by 9 area to, to um, put your, game, your gameplay. But from here, as you can see, there is no border around the edge here, uh, down the sides, but I want to match the border that's around my my webcam view. So that's pretty simple. Reselect the rectangle again, select your shape tool, your square shape tool, turn off the fill, turn on the stroke, and if you remember, the stroke for the camera was 6.99. There you go. Now you have a perfect border around the edge of your background for gaming. So there you go. Now. All you're left with is your background, which is now in two separate parts. You've got rectangle two, which is for your game, and is the border for the game and the border that surrounds everything else here. Layer one you don't need because that's the webcam, and then rectangle one, actually we could just delete that layer, we don't need it anymore. And then you've got rectangle one, which is your camera. This is where you're gonna need to do a little bit of a raising because you're not gonna want this frame in here, so you can get rid of that. So what you can do is webcam two, which is our gaming webcam, right click that, rasterize the layer, go to the eraser tool and zoom it in. And then it is literally as simple as just scrubbing it out like so. And then you're left with two separate boxes entirely. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna save it out onto my desktop as, um, let's just call it stream overlay tutorial. And you're gonna to wanna to uh, save it out as a transparent PNG because you wanna you want to retain the transparent areas um, of uh, of the design here. So once you've done that, jump back into scene two, your fresh scene that you've made, and bring in an image source. So I'm going to add uh, create a new image because this is going to be a brand new image for us and this stream. And I'm going to want to bring in the stream overlay tutorial file that we've just made. And there you go. There is the overlay for your stream. Now, what you can do is let's just jump back into a game of Hollow Knight. I've been playing Hollow Knight recently. It's very difficult, might I add, and it does stress me out a lot. So you're going to see us launching a game of Hollow Knight at the moment. And once we get into 
the gameplay will then minimize and I'll show you how to resize the actual game itself so it fits nicely it fits nicely within the um, overlay that we've just made so let me just launch launch my game where I was, where I saved two and a half hours it's been a, been a very hard two and a half hours I'll give you that right so now we've got we're inside the game we're going to want to bring in a new source into uh, OBS so if you right click again go to add go to game capture or display capture or whatever you want to put in this box i've already got an existing source for game capture so i'm going to capture that um and this should also be set to hollow knight which it is and there you go hollow knight has appeared in my obs area but it's appeared on top as the top source and we don't want that so what we can do is we can drag it under the image so the border uh, and the streaming overlay remains and then we can just drag this into an area that we want so let's say somewhere like that but as you can see the actual game itself is taking up some of the webcam area and we don't of course want that so bring the game capture right down to the bottom so the elgato sony layer i've called it the elgato but your web, your video capture device or your webcam um, input in or source inside of obs is above the game capture and then there you go that's pretty much it that's pretty much how you set up your own streaming overlay inside of OBS using Photoshop. As I say, there are free alternatives to Photoshop out there that will do similar things. Um, and there are also ways of being able to animate all of this. And as an example, if I show you, if I jump up to my solo stream, um, I've animated the TN to have a little flash of light. You've got the webcam border with the color that goes round and round um, on there. We've also got an overlay for a two stream, a two cam camera stream. So when we play two player games, we can capture two gaming uh, inputs and then two webcams. And there's a tutorial in the corner right now uh, to show you how to do that. Uh, and then, as I say, the world the world is your oyster when it comes to design. This is our four player box. So when we've got four people playing, like in a game of Warzone, for example, then you can have different gameplays on different screens and different cameras here so uh so there is that as well the uh, transition that you see i made inside of after effects it was just something i very very uh, quickly put together it's very basic but um but yeah you can you can create all, all sorts of things using photoshop and things like that and after effects in uh, in obs but that is really how you create a very basic overlay frame for your stream you're welcome so I hope that has helped you somewhat into creating your own custom designs for your streams. Now there are services out there where you can buy all of this stuff like own.tv and I don't know, I can't remember another one. There are, there are a few out there that you can uh, you can go and buy all of this stuff and have a really professional stream. But it, it's just a, a way of enhancing the quality of the stream just to give you a bit of a bit of a fresh design rather than just having a basic webcam in the corner it just keeps everything looking a little bit neat and a little bit fresh and it also means that you can start putting information if i jump back to my desktop it means you can start putting information and and I don't know, like a schedule or links to your social channels or your alerts uh, around the edge or the um the trackers follower tracker and um and your likes tracker and your donation trackers and that kind of thing and bitch trackers whatever you want to put down here you can because there's a space for it and, and uh and yeah that's it there's <laughs> there's there's all i can really say thanks uh thanks very much for uh for watching if you did enjoy this tutorial then do hit that like button subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos and also some obs uh tutorial videos I keep saying it in uh, at the end of every one of our OBS tutorial videos. I want to continue doing this. I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at some free alternatives. That sounds like a good plan. Have a look at some free alternative image designing platforms. Maybe you could do it on Canva. As Canva is free and very simple to use for everyone. I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have a look into that just to see what I can come up with. But... Um, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. Leave a comment down below letting us know how this tutorial went for you, whether you've created your own custom designs or um, or let us know what we could have changed about this tutorial. Give us some feedback. It's always nice to hear feedback from, uh, from the people who watch our videos. But uh, if you want to come and watch our streams as well, we do stream over on Twitch on a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 8.30pm onwards. Um, so if you have any questions about 
uh, OBS design or overlay design or anything like that, then do come and say hi. Uh, we do stream every week, 8.30 p.m. onwards, British time. That is, we are in the UK, so we do it for British time uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But as I say, thanks very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.